What's up guys, it's Kevin, and we're headed to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Grand Prix of Indianapolis. Um, Will Power's on the pole, um, and I actually didn't record any videos yesterday, and I'm sorry. Uh, it was a busy day, and as you can tell, I'm a little sunburnt from yesterday. Uh, my friend, and um, David Lant was a smart one to put sunscreen on, I now realize, so yeah. Um, we're just getting ready for the Grand Prix. Uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting race. I think, uh, I think Will Power can win it. I want Scott Dixon to win it, but, oh yeah, I gotta do the Donald Trump. I want Scott Dixon to win it, but I think Will Power can do it because he, for the second year at least in a row, maybe third, is the fastest man in Indy. He laid down a 107, um, seven I'm one of seven eight or seven or six or something like that um either way he broke well not broke he shattered the previous uh course record course record not track record um but or event record actually whatever um so anyways yeah definitely we're gonna cut over to some action at the pre-race stuff and some of the uh build-up races and yeah, let's hope parking isn't too bad. <laughs> I waited a little late to get there, so I'm, it's probably going to be awful, but oh well. And I'm supporting new colors. I got Simon Pagano on today. That's a nice jersey. Anyways, uh, cut over to Speedway now. Hey, What's up, guys? We're headed into the Grand Prix of Indianapolis. Sorry I didn't do a vlog yesterday. It was just a busy day. I got a little bit sunburnt, but... Um, Anyways, cars are on track and we're getting ready for the Grand Prix. Unlike last year, it's actually nice and warm compared to the cloudy and brutally cold of last year. I'm spraying different colors today with Simon Pagano because I think he will go three for four. But overall though, um, I'm hoping Dixon will win, but I don't know. In the fast six, it just, it didn't seem that he had the speed. But anyways guys, um, yeah, we will see. So more vlogs coming from inside the track here, and we'll, yeah, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're back here um, with part two, uh, or segment two of the vlog. We're here at the grid walk with Mr. David Land. Oh, are we vlogging? Yeah. All right, cool. Hi. A lot of people have recognized me, so you probably recognize me too. Yeah. Um, David Land's handler? Yeah, he's my bodyguard. Yep. The bodyguard? Um, anyways, <laughs> so down here, we got Charles Kimball, Charlie, <laughs> and then we got the ugliest car on the grid. Well, not ugliest, but pretty damn ugly. We got Graham Rahal. Graham Rahal. Graham Rahal. Hey, look, there's a driver who's not going to make it very far. It's Marco. So, yeah. yeah, there's Pagoda. Because, you know, Pagoda. And yeah. Here is your soon to be Grand Prix of Indy 500, or Grand Prix of Indy winner. Look. Wow, I just said that. We got this. Who got today? Well.
keep off the gate, but he is now in his assigned position. Ready to go racing. So <laughs> uh, make sure it's all you can out there.
the Grand Prix of Indianapolis is now over well well over now it's actually almost one o'clock in the morning um, uh, first off my thoughts and prayers are with Eric Almarola let me shut the AC off um, he had a terrible wreck I you know uh, I probably am gonna quote this on Instagram but I cannot call myself a NASCAR fan but I am a racing fan as a whole and more importantly, I'm a human being, and it hurts me, and it saddens me to see a wreck like that. And, you know, um, and I, I gotta say this, a big fuck you to Danka Patrick um, for the way she handled her interview. It was disgraceful. And this, and also fuck you to the guys who have been posting pictures of him being uh, extracted from his car. Um, that is disrespectful that is rude and you know it's just not right really uh, another one is to NASCAR uh, for their tweet and I quote red flag tune in now for when it happened you should not be telling people to tune in during a red flag at all you should not be telling people to tune in to see a wreck like that that is just awful promotion but Eric I really do hope that, you know, I really do hope that you'll be all right. Um, my thoughts and prayers are with you wholeheartedly right now. Um, and I just don't know, really, really know what to say because that was a hard impact. Um, I'm actually recording this right after uh, the race ended. It's, it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning, so... Anyways, uh, the Grand Prix itself wasn't the greatest. It was rather, it, it was in the rankings of the other Grand Prix where there's really one clear-cut guy that, that's going to win the race from early on. However, we did have a nice little contest, and for once, Helio Castroneves, um, I don't know what the deal is, but this year he actually seems a little bit more competitive than the last several um, for a while there, I actually thought he's going to win the thing. Sorry, i got to pull up a little bit. I meant to drive through. Um, he's been pretty competitive, I have to say. Um, but the one thing where he ultimately blew the race, like on pit sequence, uh, Will Power, or not on pit sequence, but Will Power, uh, their, his crew got it done, and uh, they got in front of Helio on the second stop, I believe. And then on the third stop, I don't know what the they were thinking at Team Penske, but they put Helio on the black compound tires, the harder compound that lasts longer, but they're not as grippy and not as fast. While everybody else uh, got uh, the reds, which are the softer, faster compound tires, but they degrade eight a lot faster. And the pits were in the point of where it they were would have held up anyways so i don't get the point behind that but willpower comes home your victor and scott fucking dixon um he was in the last 10 laps he was closing at a rate i believe of about a second a lap which is ridiculous um and scott continues to prove why he's one of the best in the sport and i'm not just saying that because i'm a scott dixon fan attic Ugh, gotta throw it in there but ultimately like it, it still amazes me how a four-time champion who, I correct me if I'm wrong, has not 
finished outside the top five all season, how he does not have a permanent sponsor. Well, NTT Data is not a permanent sponsor. That's just Chip throwing someone on the car for free just so he doesn't have to run a white car. But anyways, um, it amazes me how he doesn't have a sponsor. It really does. Um, I think that if he keeps it up, keeps up this consistency like nobody else has been able to do, he will win the championship. He really, really will. And I am more than happy uh, to see that happen. I want to see him win another championship. Um, overall, though, uh, Mark David Land called it. Marco and Tony both um, had a little altercation on turn one. Or not on the first lap, excuse me, on the run up on the run down Holman Boulevard. Um, Marco got a penalty, which by the way, the fans loved. Uh, those in turn one, road course turn one at least. Um, and otherwise, it was a rather boring race. Um, there wasn't any cautions, there wasn't major wrecks, thank god, not really. Um, there was just brief things, you know, Sebastian Bourdais and Charlie Kimball went out. Bourdais, he just. Had a mechanical issue, and he pulled off the track, I do believe. And I don't know what happened to Kimball, but overall, though, it was a fun day at the track um, and fun evening. And yeah, so now we go into oval mode. So definitely curious on how that's all gonna go. And you know, we're on the stretch. Um, so yeah, congratulations, Will Power, and congrats, Scotty Dixon and P2 and Ryan Hunter Ray, who brought home third so anyways guys that's really it thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later